Hello, Lana. Welcome to Manifested E Learning Platform. My name is James Kenyani. We are yet again going to start on a new topic, reflection and congruence as written on the board. And as usual, as we start a new topic, eh, it's good to know some of the objectives and why we are learning the topic. So this topic enables the learner to discover properties of reflection and congruence. So by the end of the topic, the learner should be able to state properties of reflection as a transformation, use the properties of reflection in construction, and identify images and objects. Thirdly, make geometrical deductions using reflection, apply reflection in the Cartesian plane, and five, distinguish between direct and opposite congruence and identify congruent triangles. So in our lesson today, we are going to look at uh, initial stages of the topic we we'll, uh, lesson we shall look at lines of symmetry of a rectangle and a square so our objective so at the end of this lesson you should know what symmetry is and be able to identify the lines of symmetry of a square and a rectangle. So one would ask himself, what is symmetry? Symmetry. In simple terms, somebody will say looking the same. But symmetry is a balance and proportionate similarity which is found in two halves of an object. So symmetry. It is a balance and proportionate similarity found in two halves of an object. Further, you can further say that is one half is one half huh? is a mirror image. Image of the other. What I'm trying to say is that if you look at one half, it will be exactly the same as the other half. Exactly the same. So we go straight to what we wanted in the lesson. We shall start with a rectangle. Whatever I'm holding here is a rectangle. So from our definition, we find we want to look for lines that can divide the rectangle into two. So that is what you look at as a rectangle. Let's try and see. If I fold this way, I can fold that way. So the aperture of the line is seen. You see this side is exactly the same as, the right side is exactly the same as uh, the left part. That is one line, one line. So one line of symmetry is vertical. One of it, it means, will be vertical. I can also fold it, I can also fold it. Huh? I can also fold it huh? horizontally. I'll also get a line of symmetry. So you find I've got two. I can try to fold it eh, along the diagonals. Do I get two exact halves? I think I'll not get two exact halves because they tend to overlap. They don't, it doesn't fit exactly on that. So for a rectangle, we see we get two lines of symmetry one vertical and another one horizontal. So,
So if you have a rectangle A, B, C, and D, as you've seen from that rectangle, we got two lines of symmetry. But that is, we defined using that cut-on. But how can you get them by construction? It will mean if you bisect any of these sides, opposite sides, eh, the bisector will cut the rectangle into two. So if you want to get the bisectors eh, by construction, you can simply bisect any of the pairs. You can come and bisect these. Eh? Increase it a bit. can come and bisect this. Need to increase it a bit. So if I prolong the intersection, if I prolong the intersection of that bisection, that will be one of the axes. I'll get a line of symmetry. That is a line of symmetry. And if I want to get the other line, I'll do the same. I'll bisect, I'll bisect any of the pairs. I'll bisect any of the pairs, either A, B, or C, D. I'll come and bisect. So you should know how to get them by construction. Strike a knock, strike a knock, remove, strike a knock, strike a knock. So I join, I'll come and join the intersection. So that is a line of Symmetry, that is a line of symmetry. So you can say a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Symmetry. as shown above. So having seen for that, eh, we shall also come and look at, we shall look at a square. We also have a square. It's good to look at it from an object. This is a square. This is a square. All the sides are equal. Let's see if we can divide it exactly into two parts. You can either fold, fold it that way. I would have divided into two equal parts. Or I can fold it. I fold it that way. I'll divide into two equal parts. I can also fold it along the diagonals. That will be the third line. I get two equal parts. I can also fold it on the other diagonal. And fold it on the other diagonal. 
I'll also get a line of symmetry. So from my diagram, it seems we have one horizontally, one vertically, one along one diagonal, and one along the other diagonal. So a square will have four lines of symmetry. One vertically, another horizontally, another one on one diagonal, another on the other diagonal. So when you talk of a square, you can have a small square there. So to demonstrate the difference, you can put this and put that. Eh? That would show that one of the sides, not all are equal. Only the opposite pair is equal. That is a square. I can indicate with that eh, to show that all sides are equal. I can say PQ R S. And from our diagram, we've got that this was a line of symmetry. This was a line of symmetry vertically. So use arrows. Eh? That was a line of symmetry. This was also a line of symmetry from what I demonstrated practically. That was a line of symmetry and a long RQ. That was a line of symmetry. Similarly, if you want to construct the lines of symmetry as shown here, everybody now know how to bisect that. Bisect any two of the opposite side, you'll get one line of symmetry bisect the other you'll get one line of symmetry draw a line along one diagonal you'll get one and you'll get one so in total there are how many one two three and four so a square has four lines of symmetry a square has four lines of symmetry L lines that can divide it into exactly two halves lines that can divide it into exactly two halves lines that can divide it into exactly two parts just for the beginning in the assignment eh? And before you go to the assignment, let's do a small recap. We started by defining what symmetry is. And we said symmetry is a balanced and proportionate similarity found in any two halves of an object. It is like a mirror. One half is like a, a mirror of the other, exactly the same. Then we've come to a rectangle and we found it has two lines of symmetry. One line that cut that, which means if you cut this, uh, use the line, this part will land on that, that on land. You'll get two exact halves. Horizontally, you'll get another line of symmetry. So these are the lines 
lines of symmetry. Don't forget that. For a square, this is one. One, two, three, and four. Lines of symmetry. So don't forget that. A square has four lines of symmetry, a rectangle, two lines of symmetry. So for the assignment, eh, one, construct a rectangle, of sides 7 centimeters and 5 centimeters and draw its lines of symmetry. Number two, draw a square of side eh? six centimeters and construct the lines of symmetry. So at that juncture, we identify you can only get the lines of symmetry for a rectangle once you bisect any of the opposite sides, you'll get the pair. For a square, you can bisect any of the two sides or after getting it, eh, the two you join, the two diagonals. So at that juncture, I hope you'll go through the solutions for those uh, before we proceed with the topic in the next lesson. So thank you and bye. <laughs>